Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your dog, Vito Domantz. We're back with another episode of Ranching Simulator. It's a wild, wild west out there, and I got a lot of chickens to feed, so let's go. Smash that like button while you're at it. Hit that subscribe bell like a GTA pimp. Let's light this candle. Okay, so here we are. We're back. Uh, I've been driving around. I did a little bit of cleanup back at the ranch. Uh, and... Um, was looking for, uh, you know, blueprints to see what I can do next because I tore down the house, I tore down the barn. Um, yeah, and I may or may not have accidentally, mind you, killed a junkyard dog. I didn't mean to. My vehicle, uh, as I was doing some aerobatic stunts uh, off of a cliff, may have landed at the edge of, uh, you know, some kind of power plant or something. I don't know what it was, but... Uh, two dogs came out and they started attacking me and um, uh, I may have accidentally, you know, ran over them. So, you know, not intentional, but uh, it was me or them, right? You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that. Like I said, not intentional, but uh, it is what it is. All right. So I'll show you what I did back there. Vito's been a busy boy. Uh, I was contributing to the deforestation of the land. You know, there's a bunch of trees missing here now, right? <laughs> so I did a lot of uh, chopping. Uh, and then I'll show you in here what I did. So, I, you know, I cleaned up a bunch of stuff here. All that uh, old windmill stuff that's on the ground, it's gone. Uh, chickens are having fun over here. Heckling Jekyll, right? Uh, and in here, look at all that beautiful wood. I'm going to need it because I'm looking at the blueprints. And, uh, yeah, uh, I want to build a house. Uh, so here's what I found is interesting. Uh, there's a deer over there. Hmm. Well, I don't know what happened if I uh, reload him. I'm gonna shoot you with a pistol. Have a quick shot if I missed him. Right there. Enough of that silliness. All right, so I noticed some plots over here, right? Uh, and I don't know if that this is where we're expected to build a new house. So, you know, I'm going to look in here. And, uh, you know, I see um, a lot of plans here. So, you know, this uh, standard one here uh, looks like you need some wood, concrete, and metal. So I have to go buy some stuff at the store, but uh, I don't know that I have enough to do that. Uh, I sort of like the one story, but that's a lot of concrete, 155. That's going to be on the, uh, the goal list for today, right? I want to at least get, um, yeah, you're lucky I only have a pistol. Wait till I get a rifle. Uh, so that's on the goal for today is, um, let's change the ranch name to Rancho Vito. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's make it mine. All right. So anyway, what I'll say. Uh, so yeah, I tore down, uh, there was a barn here, right? Remember the barn there? And I tore down the ranch house last time. Um, so I'm thinking... But I want the ranch house to be back here, the new house. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up so, you know, it's close here. I, I like all this extra land. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down right there. Right there. All right. So here it is. This is, uh, you know, this is the plans for my new house. Uh, I've got bunches of paint here. Don't know if I can actually use that or whatever. That's just, you know. Just decoration. But, you know, with all the wood that I cut, so I'm going to go uh, and grab my four-wheeler here. Uh, if the deer doesn't take it first. Are you taunting me? You're taunting me, right? That's what you're doing. Rifle taunt. And when I get rifles, that's it. I'm going to clear you out. No deers allowed. Okay, I'm going to go in here and we're going to get some wood. Uh, everybody loves wood, right? And you know, what's a pain sometimes. You got to open a tailgate. Got to get this out of here. So I'm going to fast forward here. I need a stack of wood so that I can go over and start building the new homestead. So yeah, let's uh, let's fast forward through here. And uh, when we meet up on the other side over there, I should be ready to uh, place some of these and uh, start building the house. Okay, so here we are. Got ourselves a whole stack of beautiful wood. Look at that. I cut all that, folks. Yeah, that was all me. Put it through the saw. Yeah, that's me. I didn't buy that at the hardware store. Where does the wood go? Hmm. It says E to insert, but I don't see where. There we go. Look at that. So we're going to keep going here. Look at this. 
Get in the house together, folks. Get in the house together. Now, the nice thing I noticed about this game is I don't have to be right next to the things, right? If I could target it, right, like that, <laughs> without dropping it like an idiot. Uh, target it, right? Yeah, right. And it's the same thing for, like, placing things, you know, on my uh, four-wheeler and uh, throwing things in the saw and stuff like that. I don't have to be right next to it. All right, so let's just uh, keep doing this. Right it's going to start coming together. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking through the floor, because there is no floor. Vito, the construction guy. He's going to build your house. He'll drive a car. He'll pump the gas. He'll do everything. You know what I'm saying? Looking great. You know, got to have some vision when you look at it like this, because, you know, uh, you know, there's uh, a lot to be said right now. There's uh, just a frame and not even a good looking frame yet. Uh, but I think as I add these uh, pieces in, you're going to start to see what this house is going to look like. It's going to look nice. It's going to look real nice. Oh, stuck inside the empty frame of the house. That's embarrassing. So I'm going to keep doing this and uh, fast forward a little bit. Because unless you're a construction guy, uh, there's nothing really too exciting about uh, placing a bunch of lumber. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward a little bit, editor, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so through the magic of a uh, quick edit here, look, I placed all the wood that I have. So, you know, Vito did do math on this one. I was just trying to, you know, see what it was going to look like to do this. So I even got to, you know, Fred stays here. Look at this. Kind of nice, right? All right. So if you notice right there, I need 155 concrete and 30 metal. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and see how much this stuff costs because uh, you know that can't be cheap. All that all that uh, concrete is gonna be expensive, and I don't know that I have that kind of cash yet. We're gonna head over to the hardware store here. Fire it up. Let's go. And off we go to the hardware store. Yeah. Look out, Vito's here. Yeah, right there. I get the front spot. That's my spot. All right, here we go. So yeah, let's take a look in the hardware store here. Uh, and we're going to see, you know, what we're talking about here. So I think we said like 155 concrete, right? Um, so I, I'm assuming that was hopefully... <laughs> that I don't know. So, you know, these are 50 kilogram bags. Uh, so were they talking about three of these bags? Or are they talking about 150 of these bags? That's, that's going to be interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one, right? That way I can tell exactly what I need. All right, so we're going to go out here. All right, so I'm going to go take this back to the ranch, Rancho Vito, and I'm going to place this on the house, and I'm going to see um, exactly, uh, you know, what this means as far as what I need. Meet you back at the ranch. Uh, folks, uh, seem to have uh, a little bit of an incident here, uh, but it's okay. Vito can jump out and he can do this. Kaboom! Don't! Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I need to cut this tree down. Is there any kind of law over here? And I just, you know, cut the tree! Oh my goodness! What is going on? <laughs> All right, uh, let's flip the car over here. I hope it doesn't go in a tree again. Thank you. Get in here. All right. You just didn't see that. That was insanity. Uh, tree stumps, get out of my way. I guess that's what I get for cutting down a tree, right? All right, here we are, back at the homestead. I'm gonna head over here, and we're gonna slam on the brakes and jump out. So it says five of five. So I think they're talking about kilograms, right? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, place this, right? Yeah. All right, so what did that do for us? Right, so if you look right there now, concrete five of 155, so that's not as bad as we thought. So they're talking about kilograms. So we need seven more planks. I can cut down a couple trees to get that. Actually, I have the trees cut down. Uh, so let's fast forward to me uh, going over there and finishing up the trees. So this is what I was talking about, folks. Look, I'm really you know, not that close to the pile, not that close to the uh, four wheeler, but I can still place stuff. So, of course, I think I got too much in here, possibly. There we go. 
All right, makes it a lot quicker. You know. Yeah, I know you want to go in there. There. All right, so I just want to show you that and uh, fast forward to me finishing up solid stuff. Okay, so here we are. We're going to saw some logs. Uh, there's a deer at my door. Yeah. If you're lucky this isn't a rocket launcher. Okay, so I think I needed seven, right? So that's four. This will be six. So these will be the seventh ones that I need. And then I can go over and place those. And then I can do some quick math. And uh, figure out how much I actually need, right, for the rest of the uh, project. All right, meet you back over the homestead, folks. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, we got to figure out how to get that up there. All right, see, this is what I was talking about, all right? The uh, pathing is nice. I don't have to, like, you know, get on a ladder or anything like that. Uh, as long as I can get that prompt up there like that, then I can place the wood, you know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah. Kind of nice. Good on you, devs. Thank you for not making me, like, you know, build a ladder or anything crazy like that. Alright, looks like we only got a couple pieces left. Yeah, and it's, you know, 8 o'clock at night. I'm out here in the wilderness. Build my house. That's the way it should be, right? Alright, so we got all the wood planks. 28 to 28. So we need 150 kilograms of concrete. So uh, I'm trying to remember how much the, um, the big one was. I think it was 50, 50 kilograms. I mean, it was 100 something dollars. So if I got... You know, three of those, that should be enough of that, and then I need 30 metal. Uh, you know, this is what we're going to find out. Does the hardware store close at night? If so, is there a way I can get in there and talk to the computer myself and get the uh, supplies that I need? We're going to find out. Here we go. At least I got headlights. I may still drive like I'm drunk, but I got headlights. See you over at the hardware store. Look out, Vito's coming through. I got important stuff to do, you're in my way. Uh, dear, I'm telling you. You're pushing your luck. Huh, so the hardware store 24-7 it looks like, alright, so... So what did I say? I said I needed, uh... Oh, okay, a little bit more than I thought. So I've got, you know, $1,100. Um, the one thing I haven't figured out in the economy of this game yet is how do I make money? I know I made it off of the... Uh, what was it? The chickens or something like that? Heckle and Jekyll. Maybe I need to go back there and figure out how to do that. It's like $1,100. I can afford 3D, so that means I'm going to buy a house. Uh, and then I think it said I needed yeah, like 30 plates. That's $300. That's a lot of metal. Uh, I think what I'm going to do for right now. Yeah. I think I'm just going to do, you know, 50 for right now. It's an odd little place with no employees. Power. So that's what the computers, uh, you know, communicate with. Some kind of strange garbage can. Let's put it back in here, and we're gonna head back, uh, head back to the ranch, and uh, we're gonna place it. See you over there. Don't mind me, Mister Diaz, just driving through, going home. We'll meet again real soon. All right, look at that. I made a shortcut, so I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. So let's go here and uh, insert it. So up to 55 or 155, you know, doesn't show, you know, the floor is still invisible. You know, I can walk through the floor. Oh no, I'm in wet concrete. Uh, but yeah, so we need, uh, you know, 100 more concrete, 30 metal. So we'll just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to go over and check out the um, chickens. Heckle and Jekyll. Uh, do you guys know how I can make one? So it looks like they're hungry. Okay, so that's like a, uh, a hunger, thirst meter. Look, look at the love meter. They love me. Yeah, you're going to love me when I put you on a... Uh, between two pieces of bread with some barbecue sauce. So that's what I put out there. That's the feed, I believe. Right? So, um... Just put the chickens in there. Just let them be free range. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep that open in case they want to go in the coop. Uh, you know, I did research to figure out uh, the economy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Keep prancing around there. So, yeah, I need to figure out the economy to figure out uh, exactly how do I make money? Because, you know, do the uh, chickens lay eggs? So is that what this coop's for? Maybe they go in there and they lay their eggs and then I sell those? I don't know. Uh, you know, I can uh, go in here and go in there. There's another door there probably. Nope. Hey, chicken, what do you do? All right, I got you. 
I got you. Go in here. What happens when you go in here? Go in there. Close the door. Yeah, close that door. Now you're in a coop. Hmm. All right. I don't know what that does for you. So maybe protects you from the uh, wildlife around here if there's any foxes or anything like that. All right. So I'm going to fast forward and I'm going to figure out something about the economy here. So uh, I was walking around out here and um, it seems like maybe one of my chickens did make it. Uh, it seems a little big to be one of my chickens, but I saw a uh, dead chicken lying out here. So, you know, that's the way of the world out here. So we're going to go back here. Uh, at least I got the other one in a coop. So, you know, I found a couple things. Um, so the coop is definitely where you want to keep them to keep them safe. Uh, I'm going to hide as I walk by with this. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this in the basket. All right. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they get to eat that later or something? Anyway, so what I found out was that uh, every night, if you have a hen and a rooster in here, so I'm going to have to get a rooster, uh, there's a chance that, uh, you know, some action is going to happen. You know, they're going to get busy in the hen house. And uh, the next day or so, like especially at night, they say it'll lay an egg. So, you know, we're going to keep that safe. And then I'm going to go buy you a rooster. We'll be back. Did I surprise you? Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. The sign says you're supposed to be closed at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm just still sitting back behind your desk. Alright, so we need to buy a rooster. 250 bucks, but I'm hoping this brings us some uh, some economy here, right? Some cash. So let's go outside and uh, meet our new rooster. Where's the rooster? There you are. Come to daddy. Gotcha. Your name. <laughs> Foghorn. That's right. Come on, Foghorn. We're gonna go meet one half of the dynamic duo of Heckle and Jekyll. Don't ask what happened to Jekyll. You stay there. Looks so pretty back there. Alright. I'm gonna figure out how to get around this place without using a map. But that's a tomorrow problem. Here we go! You know, you know, just being respectful to the rooster. I'm driving on the roads when I should have just, you know, taken it off the cliff right there. Matter of fact, down we go! Yeah. Sorry about the dizziness there, folks. Hopefully you looked away. But this leads to our backyard right here. Do a little slaloming. Yeah, there's the new house. Here, Brewster. All right. Hey, Heckle, I got someone for you. And then I'm going to take you and you're going to go in there. Have some fun. We're not going to watch what's happening there, but uh, yeah. So I need to uh, maybe put the bucket in there, right? I'm wondering if that's uh, probably a good thing. Right? I don't want to remove that. I'm probably going to have to buy another bag of grain so that, uh, so that I can see that uh, she's getting a little hungry there. Right? About halfway down. So we'll do that uh, in the morning. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's fast forward through and through the magic of editing, maybe something good will happen. Here we go! Into the store. How's it going? I'm back. So, you know, I read somewhere what I need is <laughs> not a stunner. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to anybody, I swear. Uh, maybe a meat grinder. I don't know yet. Uh, there's something in here that um, is for checking the ovulation of uh, a chicken egg. At least I hope they sell that here, right? Um, you know, I don't see it. Did I just not see it? Fools. Alright, well, we'll be back. Ah, here it is. Aboscope. That's what I was looking for. It's really dark in here. You need to do something about that. Yeah, I know. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Whatever. Okay, we've arrived back at the homestead. It's 5.30 in the morning. This is when farmers get up, right? All right, so I read about this uh, this scope, and it says you put an egg in here, right? And they say to do it indoors. So I'm going to put it in the junk room. <laughs> Probably not best to put it back to the uh, carcass of another chicken. All right, so as soon as the sun comes up, I'm going to go in here and check and see if we got uh, we have the eggs. Hello? Eggs? Anybody? Okay. Abracadabra. It's morning. All right. 
I'm looking in here. I don't see no eggs. Hello, eggs. Anybody? So I guess I probably have to wait until the final night uh, to get the eggs. But, you know, we've done a lot here today, right? Look at that. We've got the wood frame portion of the house done, right? Uh, cut a bunch of trees. Uh, this whole area was filled with trees before, and now it's just a pile of wood, which is nice. Um, yeah, we bought a rooster. Uh, unfortunately, lost one of the chickens. I'm pretty sure we lost it. I mean, that was a... Uh, I don't know what else that carcass would have come from. It was definitely a void. Um, so... Yeah, get out of here, stump. All right, so, like I said, we got a chicken, we got a rooster now, so... Uh, you know, here we go. It's about to start. This place is gonna become something. So anyway, I think that's uh, gonna be it for the video today, folks. Uh, having fun here with Ranch Simulator. It's a really interesting game. A lot of stuff to do here. It's a very open world. Uh, it's kind of cool how you can just go cut any tree down you want. That's kind of neat. Uh, and it seems persistent, right? The trees aren't coming back. So, you know, it's a ton of trees. You can do a lot with it. As always, thank you so much for watching the video if you're watching it. If you make any comments, be nice, right? Everybody likes niceness. So you stay safe. Uh, love you all. Woof. You know it.